What's going on? I'm Anoki the one back with another video. And in this video, I will be finally responding to the just hilarious uh, situation as well as the T.S. Madison. Um, just that one, the post and um, just hilarious reaction. And then I may make another video of T.S. Madison's reaction later. Now, um, I am a basic lesbian, okay? I'm just a good old masculine lesbian, whatever you want to call, because we got too much going on. Um, and I find it wild how they're quick to um, try to silence us. They don't really want us speaking too much for obvious reasons that may come out in this video. Um, but I'll give you all my reaction to the situation first the reaction of the initial video and then the action to the reaction to the response to the video so let's get into it when the transphobia just comes out the audacity and just the 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 arrogance for cis women to believe that they own periods that they own womanhood you don't okay so i mean that that in it itself is enough there have been people that try to say it's not a, a, enough context because she was talking about in relation to intersex and trans men and all this other crap. But um, that still means nothing because the definition of a woman ultimately is a, a female adult person, right? And I think the part of this video that is the utmost <laughs> the utmost the utmost triggering right because people will try to gaslight you and try to make it about so many things other than what we talking about right let's let's talk about what we're talking about first of all you're starting off with the utter transphobia the other the utter trans phobia so regardless of what you about what you said before with this you're talking about the utter transphobia and the audacity and the arrogance of women I, when i tell you every single word of this entire video is insane it's insane now, am I saying that 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 trans people are th this is the, this is the issue that I have, right? This is the issue that I have when talking about this. And this is why they don't like us talking. They don't like women talking about this, which is insane. It's insane, right? And it's it's doubly, triply, quadruply insane to try to si silence lesbians because we were the ones that was we were fighting for women to have the right to speak in the first place in history right and and you know what they always you know how they always dismiss us you know how they always try to shut us up oh oh you're a lesbian you just hate men you hate men it don't matter what we say we don't want women being raped we don't want women being b abused you just hate men you just hate men it don't matter what we say a anytime we talk and they and they find out we're like you hate men you hate you, you hate men now what is the difference Transpho the utter transphobia. You're starting off with the utter transphobia. The utter transphobia of you having the audacity to, the, the arrogance to think that you, as a cis woman, get to gatekeep periods and womanhood, that you own womanhood. The arrogance and audacity. Let a trans man, and this is, I, I've said this several times, and, and this, this is a perspective that you, you, you're largely not going to get because they don't want us talking from a woman-centered perspective, right? A woman-centered, centric perspective. You're not going to see a trans man going online saying the, the, tra the utter transphobia. You know, 
You never hear people saying the uh, the other woman hate. You never hear people saying, oh, you just hate men. You just hate women. You just hate women. You just hate women. You just hate women. You killed a woman. You just hate women. Even when it's justified, you never hear people saying you just hate women. It's crazy. It's crazy. You're never going to hear a trans man going on there talking about how the utter audacity, the, the utter transphobia of men thinking that they can own manhood, that they own manhood and that they own male ejaculation, the utter transphobia, right? It's the same gaslighting, right? It's the same type of gaslighting that we get as women in general, anytime we bring up any type of issue, any type of thought that doesn't perfectly align with a man's thought. We're seen as being too masculine. We're too manly. We are um, hating men anytime we don't agree with men. So to have this same issue with, the, with trans women, start talking about it's transphobia, to say that we own periods in womanhood and to say we don't want to be called cis when you want to be called a woman. You don't, there, there's so many people on there saying, I'm not a trans woman, I'm a woman. But when a woman says, I'm not a cis woman, I'm a woman, now it's transphobic. Now we just have some deep-seated insecurity about what about what it's projection it's just a lot of projection it's just a lot of projection and it's the same type of insanity that we have to deal with with men anytime we have a concern anytime we want to live on a day-to-day basis anytime we want to walk down the street and not be attacked right so you hear trans women talking about oh they're killing us in the streets well, the, when, when a trans woman is killed in the streets, there's probably been um, at least 100 women that same week that that trans woman was killed. I did the numbers. There's 14 times as many women killed every single year at the hands of domestic violence than the entire LGBT population. So welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. There's not much rights that I, I, I hear trans women f- advocating for that they don't already have, that they don't, what are you, what are you fighting for? W- what's being fought against, honestly, what's being fought against is that you are not used to being treated like a woman <laughs> because everything you're saying, this is what women been fighting for for a very long time and we, we still ain't got it, Right. You're fighting for the basic shit that women have to go through every single day, right? And we're silenced. And when we speak on it, we just hate men. We hate men. We hate men. We want, ind- we want financial independence. If we're doing the same exact work as a man is doing, we want the same pay. No, you don't want the same pay. You just hate men. You don't want financial independence. You just hate men. You don't want a divorce from an abuser that you fear is going to take your life and your child's life. You just hate men. You don't want to not be raped. You don't know. You don't want to not be sexually assaulted when you go to work. You just hate men. You hate men, right? You don't want to not be called um, a a cis woman. You don't want to not be called a cis woman. It's not that you want to be called a woman. It's that you just are transphobic. You just hate us. You 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 hate it. But, but what is actual action actually being showed? If you're taking somebody out, it seems like to me that that you, <laughs> the person that's taking that person out is the, the person that's hating. So why why don't I hear these trans women constantly going attacking men? Why are y'all constantly attra- attacking women? Why? We're not killing you. We are not the ones taking you out. We're not the ones throwing you in jail. We're not the ones denying you jobs. We're not the ones pretending um, to, to not be having sex with you. Why y'all don't have that energy for men? That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's what I'm so confused about. The audacity? The arrogance? To, to, to think that 
the definition in the dictionary is true of what a woman is? To think that the only people on earth that can have a period actually uh, gatekeep it and own it? We don't need to own it or gatekeep it. It's, that's just the reality. That's just what it is. So, yeah, that is delusional. If you believe that women don't, are not women, you're delusional. If you don't think women have a say on what's going on with periods, you're, you've, you're crazy. You are crazy if you believe that. Because that's... So now... <laughs> because what I don't like is that somebody will say that and they want to flip it to make it mean oh, well, this person is saying trans women or trans people are crazy. They're just all crazy in general. That's not what I'm saying. That may be what Jess Hilarious is saying. That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you in your mind believe that women <laughs> are not women, women do not gatekeep womanhood, right? And, and that is a male delusion. It's a male delusion. And, and what is male delusion? It's a conditioning. It's nurtured delusion based on the system the delusional matrix that we're in that is male centered and male focused when all of nature is female focused all of nature is female focused mother nature all of nature is female started beginning to end focused right so when we're in a a, a, a society that is male focused it's gonna be a lot of delusion it's gonna be a lot of insanity so we're already being told constantly what we are. Oh, you're, you're, a man. you're trying to be a man because you want to be an independent adult. You want to be an adult. You, you, because you want to be an adult with free will that God gave us, you're a man. You don't want to be a woman. You're a man. You, you're, you don't want to be independent. You're a man. And if, if you don't want to be a man, you just hate men. That's crazy. It's insanity. So, okay, let's continue. Okay, you don't own periods, you don't own womanhood. You experience both, and both are different for every person. Girl, girl, or whatever you, you want to be. It ain't no damn experience. Okay. Went, won't be. <laughs> Being a woman is not an experience. It's a reality. It is a defined reality nobody is telling men that it that being a man is an experience nobody is telling men that male ejaculation is an experience they're not telling them that it's an experience and that they don't own it why would wh even this even this owner that this idea of ownership is a is a male delusion an idea of owning womanhood or a period why would you even need to own it this 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 is why we're where we're at this is why we're in this crazy backwards ass fucking society and these same people will talk about patriarchy and colonization this is colonizer talk owning the audacity to think that you own we don't need to own Women, women, we don't need to own womanhood. We don't need to own periods. If we say we're the only ones who have periods and, and we are women, we are women. We don't own women. And it, the, 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 we don't own women, right? We are in a delusional society where, where male born people through the delusion of gender if you want to talk about education because people always want to talk about try to educate people on something the delusion of gender that with the western society that we're in today uh makes men have this delusion that they own women that you own it's the same rhetoric that you own women, that you own womanhood, that what a woman is, is the property of a man. That's what it is in this male delusion, right? And in this delusion of gender, 
women are supposed to believe that they are property, believe that they are a product of a man, even religious, when, when it comes to religion. We're supposed to believe that we're a product of a man. We came out of a man's rib. We're the product of a man. Even when men talk about, oh, let me put a baby in her. I'm going to give her a baby. That's delusional when women have eggs. That's delusional to say that, that, that you want to put your seed in a woman when you're a mammal and not a damn plant. We are mammals. <laughs> you see how th this is just uneducated delusion. It's foolishness. Women are born with eggs. Sperm is merely fertilizer. So you want to talk about education? We, we need to educate ourselves on what women are, what women are capable of, what women, what are the things that women have in their bodies that allow you to be alive, all of you, on earth, including women, because a lot of women don't know. That's, this, and this is the type of knowledge and information as to why you don't hear lesbians speaking. Because we are the ones who have historically fought for women's rights. So when they, the second they hear somebody is lesbian and they're talking, especially when it comes to uh, trans issues, right, and, and womenhood, whether it's a man, whether it's a trans woman, or whether it's a gay man, they instantly want to, uh, they instantly want to um, dismiss us, dismiss us. Right, because they know what we're about. We're women-centered women. We're women-identified women. We've always defined ourselves for, for a long time, but we've been in a delusion. So I'm hoping some people wake up. And, 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 and before I get to the, 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 the just hilarious, this doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you. You don't own it. Again, that is the male delusion um, programming, right? This is male program. Am I saying that this person is a male? No, I'm saying that programming is male delusion. It doesn't matter if you're a woman, a man, a trans woman, a, a lesbian. It doesn't matter. If you are thinking in that delusional way, you are, that is a male delusion. That is on the male extreme of the delusion, right? And the women who agree with that, right? They are on the female end of the delusion, but they're both delusional, okay? And so this belong, this gatekeep womanhood. Now I talked about in a long podcast about this book, The Spirit of Intimacy, where in the last chapter, it breaks down the gatekeepers, right? And this is where we're lost in the village because a lot of times trans women, this whole trans movement, they will talk about the patriarchy and before the patriarchy, we've been here, blah, 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 but they don't talk about how we were here. What was our purpose and what was we doing before the patriarchy and all this other stuff? They, they often don't talk about it because they're not looking for that. They're not looking for that. They're not looking for the whole truth, but the truth. Right. And in this book, this is from ancient indigenous African spirituality. The last book. Let's read it directly because I was highlighting a lot of stuff. Um, the words gay and lesbian do not exist in the village, but there is the word gatekeeper. Right. And this represents gays, lesbians and trans because in the past, trans people didn't actually transition. They were just on the spectrum because the surgeries were not there. So they may have felt like they were a woman inside or a man inside or more masculine than, than feminine, even though whatever, regardless of the vessel, right? So, but they, they weren't defined based on their sexuality. They were de defined based on their purpose, based on the law of gender, not the delusion of, de of gender, right? The, 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 law of gender and not the delusion of gender there is a difference right because everything on this planet has masculine and feminine energy so when i'm talking about male delusion female delusion gen delusion of gender th that's a mental thing and it causes mental insanity when you're trying to force something that is spiritual right into all these 
mental gymnastics that it doesn't belong in for a purpose of the government, right? So it says, the gatekeepers stand on the threshold of the gender line. They are mediators between the two genders. They make sure that there is peace and balance between women and men, right? Gatekeepers do not take sides. They simply act as the sword of truth and integrity. So when you have stripped the gatekeepers of their indigenous role in the the overall human community, and you force them to to create these small broken off communities, the trans community, lesbian community, gay community, because you've kicked us out of our own villages when we were previously the gatekeepers of our villages making sure snakes don't come through the village whether for the man or the woman right in our original state we were the keepers of the peace and the balance between the sexes right but when you kick us out right when you kick us out and you tell us we don't belong in the gates whether it's spiritual whether it's religious the gates of heaven when we are actually the gatekeepers right when you um brainwash us in the delusion of gender instead of teaching us about the law of gender then you have confusion when you're constantly telling who we are is confusion instead of telling us what you're teaching us what you're brainwashing us in which is the delusion of gender is confusion there's nothing confusing about the law of gender where everything on earth has mass different variations of masculine and feminine energy there's nothing confusing about that at all but it becomes confusing when you feel like you want to label every single uh, every single piece of the spectrum or if you're a little bit uh, too masculine now you're a non-binary they them z's are good to get related that's delusion right and, and and so but the original purpose was to not take sides but when you kick us out of the community societally and then you start pitting the gatekeepers against the people that they're supposed to be gatekeeping for. And then you pit the people who, like you make the the people in the, the community afraid of the gatekeepers and vice versa. And you put them against each other. Then you have distorted competition. You have distorted um, purposes and confusion. Then the purpose becomes not to uh, uh, stand in the threshold and gatekeep and, 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 and spill the tea from spirituality and all this other stuff, it becomes, now it becomes gossiping. Now it becomes trying to take her man. Now it, it turns into trying to compete with her on what womanhood is and becoming a woman instead of balancing out the feminine energy within the tribe so the masculine and the men understand the women and the women understand the, the men and the community understands the role of the gatekeeper for the community not the gatekeeper for womanhood or the gatekeeper so the language it comes out because spiritually that is our purpose right but if the government has brainwashed us and they know our purpose they know the truth of where we come from and, and, and what our indigenous purpose is they're going to use that energy that powerful gatekeeping energy against not only us but against the community that we once protected so now you see a another layer so now let's get into the just hilarious situation Hello, who the fuck is going to stand up for us? <laughs> who the fuck stands up for us? And us, I mean women, real women, biological women, women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were. Um, and let's pause right there. Let's pause right there because a lot of you have already seen the whole thing. So I don't feel like I need to run it all the way through. I want to break it down point by point. She's asking that question. Who? Who? Well, let's look at historic hi history. Let's look historically. Who was that person? Masculine women. Biological women who were masculine. Who's going to stand up for women? Who stood up for women to have the right to vote? Who stood up for women to uh, be able to divorce from a violent, deadly 
marriages. Who stood up for women to have their right to own property? Largely masculine women. Not only white women. Angela Davis was in the Civil Rights, was in the Black Panthers, and the uh, majority of the Black Panthers was women. That y'all now want to call masculine, but when we protecting y'all, it's not masculine. When we're protecting y'all, we strong, powerful black women. But when we're protecting ourselves, now we're men. Okay? Um, who? The ones that every time we speak, y'all want to silence us by saying we hate men or we're transphobic, when in re reality, we're the main ones who love women. We're uh, women-centered women. And I was guided to this article when I was uh, uh, wanting to look into this because I, my, my guides, I, see, I'm in my purpose as a, a, a spiritual gatekeeper. I'm in my purpose. So my ancestors, my guides, my, 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 my spirit guides, they're they going to give me the information. They're going to give me the tea. So why, why was I looking through this book? the invention of heterosexuality, and we're going to get into that a little uh, later. But I was looking for a, something tidbit, a little tidbit, and it mentioned um, this this uh, manifesto called The Woman-Identified Woman. Okay? And so I want to break down um, what they talked about as far as lesbians and, and, and another huge point that really breaks down what's really happening. So first I'll go with the, the, the breakdown, then I'll go with the, the lesbian, how y'all try to dismiss us. But this opened my eyes. I'm like, this is why history is so important. This is why history, history is really, really important. So it says, but why is it that women have related to and through men? So she asked the question, who is going to stand up for women? Who's going to stand up for biological women, right? But why is it that women have related to and through men? By virtue of having been brought up in a male society, we have internalized the male culture's definition of ourselves. That definition consigns us to sexual and family functions and excludes us from defining and shaping the terms of our lives. We don't get to define and shape the terms of our own womanhood. This is in the 70s. This was written in the 70s. In exchange for our psychic servicing and for performing society's non-profit making functions, the man confirms on us just one thing, the slave status which makes us legitimate in the eyes of the society in which we live this is called femininity or being a real woman in our cultural lingo i'm gonna pause right here one of the biggest things that i pushed back a while ago with this trans this trans movement was them wanting to make sex work legal. Sex work, before it was called sex work, was sex slavery and prostitution. Sex trafficking, slavery. And I find it very interesting that, like I said, they've stripped us of our role, our indigenous roles, right? gatekeepers indigenous roles and what they did with the feminine and this has been since ancient times what they do with the feminine role the feminine uh, um, gatekeeper which is the the male or the yeah the male gatekeeper with the feminine energy they stripped that person of their um role and they made them into a sex object because this is called femininity or being a real woman in our culture, being a slave class. This is ancient. This is why history was in, is important. They promote gay men and they promote trans women because why? Men can use them for sex. Men can use them for sex. They don't promote masculine women. They're not using us for sex. 
They're not. That's that's why they want to silence us. That's why they want us. They, they want to say we hate men, or we're not women. Why? Because we are not. We're not real women. Because the definition of being a real woman and and the definition of femininity is being a slave to a man. This is some shit that they broke out. Bro- <laughs> <laughs> put together a long time ago and if you list if you really listen to what men are saying when they complain about women being independent and having free will to make their own decisions what they're what they're saying is they don't want you to be free they don't want you're not if, if you want to be free you're a man if you want free will if you want to be independent you are a man now let's continue we are authentic, legitimate, real to the extent that we are the property of some man whose name we bear. To be a woman who belongs to no man is to be invisible, pathetic, inauthentic, unreal. And how often do you hear uh, men talking about, oh, you single? Uh, 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 you ain't even married you ain't even got no man see that's why you ain't got no man see uh, uh, the thing is you trying to be independent well you ain't gonna get no man you ain't gonna have no man you ain't gonna get no who cares that doesn't that doesn't change me being a woman or not that doesn't change me being a human or not but if you're going based on the society it does it does you're not a real woman if you don't have a man even though men don't come to this earth without women it's delusion. He confirms his image of us, of what we have to be in order to be acceptable by him, but not our real selves. He confirms our womanhood as he defines it in relation to him but cannot confirm our personhood, our own selves and absolutes. You confirm whether our image is uh, uh, woman enough or not. How dare you, and this goes to T.S. Madison, which I'll break down further, but how dare you talk, talk all this mess? You hear so many gay men and trans women talking shit about women and their wigs, and their makeup, and their lashes, and their nails. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, when, if we're being out, you have to do surgical procedures a lot of times in order to achieve the woman look, but you want to talk shit about women who just need makeup and a wig? That's insanity. That's delusional. Right. But if you understand (laughs) the society that we're in, it makes complete sense. As long as we are dependent on the male culture for this definition, for the approval, we cannot be free. So, um, all the people that are pretending like just because women want to say, um, we are not chest feeders. We are not women with vulvas. We are not cis women. We are not women with periods. We are women, period. To say that, that we are saying this because we hate trans women is no different than saying, we do not want to be abused. We do not want to be killed. We want to dress the way we want to dress. We want to work where we want to work. And hearing men say, um, no, you don't. You don't want any of those things. You just hate men. What's the difference? What's the difference? You don't love women. You just hate men. You don't love yourself. Matter of fact, you don't love yourself. That's why you don't have a man. How do I? If I'm by myself and I'm loving it, how is that not loving myself? If I'm with another woman and I'm loving it, how is that not loving myself? Isn't a woman closer to myself? How is that hating men for loving myself and loving women? Enough to make my own decisions and be free, right? But as they said, as they broke it down in the 70s, as long as we are dependent on the male culture for 
for this definition, for this approval, we cannot be free. It's not about you. It's not about being jealous of you. It's not wanting to be like you. It's not because we are mistaken by you. It's because we want to be free. We want to be free. Now, let's break down how they dismiss us with this lesbian word. Lesbian is a label invented by the man to throw at any woman who dares to be his equal. Who dares to challenge his prerogatives, including that of all women as part of the exchange medium among men. So, you know, wanting to be with women instead of men. (coughs) Who dares to assert the primacy of her own needs... Not trans women's needs, not gay men's needs, not men's needs, but her needs. Which is why a lot of times you don't see lesbians and gay men and trans women. We was fighting for LGBT rights. We was we was in the marches for 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 for, for AIDS and everything all along history, but at the same time couldn't even go into their clubs into their ballrooms. We weren't allowed. Let's talk about history. Let's talk about it. To have the label applied, y'all letting straight women in before you letting lesbians in when we the ones was really fighting. To have the label applied to people active in women's liberation is just the most recent instance of a long history older women will recall that not so long ago still happening today any woman who was successful independent not orienting her whole life about a man would hear this word for in this sexist society for a woman to be independent means she can't be a woman she must be a dyke I hear that, especially in the black community, because the black community is about 100 years behind. That, by design, that in itself should tell us where women are at. It says, as clearly as can be said, women are per- in-, in-, in person are contradictory terms. This is real. This is real today. For a lesbian is not considered a real woman, and yet... In popular thinking, there is really only one essential difference between a lesbian and other women, that of sexual orientation, which is to say, when you strip off all the packaging, you must finally realize that the the essence of being a woman is to get fucked by a man. When I tell you that is the whole truth, nothing but the truth, all the way to the resentment a lot of us get from gay men the projections that we get from trans women as lesbians because we have no desire to have any sexual relations with men and that's one of the main things they want to throw at straight women's straight straight women insecurities that's the main thing they want to poke at straight women's insecurity same thing with men same thing they want to poke at when it comes to straight women's insecurities well you're not going to be acceptable to a man he's not going to want to have sex with you where you don't look good enough for this man i could get your man you can't do that with us because we don't give a fuck we could care less let's keep on point let's talk about how we're being treated let's talk about what we are able to do and what we can't do let's stay on topic now let's continue Um, when does the delusion stop what is the difference between um you and someone who has been um, diagnosed to be mentally insane. What's the <laughs> only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on. Stop talking out your fucking ass. And so this piece, this piece, this is the piece that people wanted to take and run with. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, hell, what's she talking about? Why is she talking like this? Because when I first heard it, I took it as she's saying that all trans women or, or tra- being trans in general, you belong in a straight jacket. She could have been saying that. But in the context of the conversation, um, it sounds more like you 
truly believing in your mind that we have an audacity and we're arrogant for believing that we're women. That is, and in, that's insane. You have lost your everlasting mind. So yeah, you crazy as fuck, you crazy. And anybody that agrees with that, whether you're a man or woman, a trans woman, trans man, whatever the hell you are, if you agree with the idea that it, that, 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 that it would be an audacity and it would be arrogant for a woman to, to, to know that the definition of what a woman is, we could put it right here, is a woman. That, that women are the only ones that have periods. Now, if trans men have periods, they're supposed to be trans men, are they not? Are they not? So why are we talking about that? According to y'all, because y'all want to be, oh, 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 trans women are real women. Trans men are real men. So if you believe that, then what, uh, what the fuck context do we need for to understand this? If a trans man ain't a man, intersex is not a woman. Okay, so it's not delusion. I mean, it, it, it's not audacity and it's not arrogance to, 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 to know, not to believe, not to think, but to know that a woman is a woman. Otherwise, it's delusional. Are we? Because again, because again, this is how you re have to relate it again. If a trans man goes on the internet and says uh, men have a arrogance and audacity to, to believe that manhood is uh, uh, men are the only ones that experience manhood. Men own manhood. They're delusional for believing that. They're crazy. They're uh, they're arrogant. They uh, the audacity of them to believe that 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 they are the only ones that experience male ejaculation. If you go on there and you say that Everybody is going to agree that you have lost your everlasting mind. So why is this such a big deal? Wake up. How are you projecting your anger on real women? Because we are the gatekeepers. We are the gatekeepers for periods. We the only one that fucking bleed, honey. We this is the truth. Have I lost? What did she say? We're the only ones that can give birth. We make y'all people. We make y'all. Y'all come from us. You can't be us. You will never. You're chasing something you'll never, ever get. You'll never be that. Like, hello? Where's the fucking lie? What's the big deal? Oh, my God. What's the big deal? I don't even think I've ever listened to the whole thing. I, 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 I think what the problem is, I think truly what the problem is, right? Um, we, and I broke down a lot of the problems actually beforehand, right? I broke it down a lot. But the problem ultimately is, if we're being honest, people are not used to this Queen Calafia energy. People are not used to this strong black woman with her head up and her chest out saying something with her chest when it comes to a male born human being. That's why, and, and, and this is the thing, like we are dealing with the manosphere talking shit about us, having a viral video saying stupid shit about us every week. We're dealing with, and we're really not even dealing with a lot of other races talking shit about us. It's a lot of just a bunch of infighting happening by design. Now we got to get on the internet and see a trans woman saying that we have the audacity to think that we are women. Well, every other day we're hearing uh, black men talk about how masculine we are for having basic standards for wanting basic human treatment we are masculine we're too masculine we have such an attitude because damn we don't want to get hit in the back of the head we don't want to be killed we don't want to um 
we don't want to carry you. We, we don't want to coddle you anymore. And that makes us masculine, right? We want to be independent and we want to make our own money. And we always have. We are not white women. We have always worked. And we have a Queen Calafia energy. I'll, I'll go deep into Queen Calafia on another video. But that energy, when it comes out, when it's completely and totally factual, and it is the way that she said it. It's the way that she said it. Because they can't deny that what she said, everything she said was the truth. It's the way she said it. But it's not just the way she said it. It's who she is saying it. It's who she is saying it as a black woman, right? Because um, if a black man went on and said the same thing, y'all wouldn't have a problem at all because – um, well, uh, you have been conditioned to believe that your feminine energy makes you, um, the, 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 the better you can be a pleaser to a, 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 a man, that's what makes you a woman. The, 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 the better you look to a man, that's what makes you a woman, right? So, um, when you see a woman that is in her power, who's independent, who doesn't need a man's approval for anything, to say anything, to do anything, to go anywhere, to dress any way, then that's very intimidating, right? But for her to say, you're chasing something you will never have, the, the trans women from back in the day they understood that they're trans women. And there is a purpose for being different. Your difference is what makes you what you are, right? It's what makes you a gatekeeper. But again, the, the, the nuance and the, the, the sensitivity and the part that is missing because we are not educated on that, is that it's the society that stripped the gatekeepers of, and the colonization that stripped the gatekeepers of their original roles and gave them the role of being a sex object. Made it where you can't work regular jobs and the only job you can really get is to be, is to be a sex object, to be a stripper, to be a prostitute, to be on the street. Before this whole movement happened, I was so pissed off because, and this is what really, this is what really is it, trippy to me. I was pissed off because I was doing work in homeless shelters. And aside from my cousin, who is a trans woman, who I watched transition for 20, 30 years, I never saw trans women, ever. Never saw them. So even to this day, I, I, I never see them. Right. So to, to 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 have a delusion that that women are really that pressed by trans women is that's another delusion that we want to be y'all that we're there. We're we're mad because we're mistaken for trans women. That's delusion. That's a lot of delusion. It's a lot of projection. Um, I never saw until I went to instead of, until I started working at the homeless shelter. And at the same time, I'm working at, in, in volunteering for the uh, homeless shelter. I went and volunteered at the gender clinic in Houston, thinking, you know, let me, you know, support my people. It was largely white. They were working to have a program for, for black people, but black people, black, ki black, black parents ain't bringing their children to no gender clinic. And I'm glad they didn't. When I realized what was going on in there, I'm so happy y'all wasn't doing that. But the issue is black parents was kicking their children out and they were homeless so I'm seeing kids the same age kids in homeless shelters kids privilege being brought to gender clinics I'm seeing LGBT bunch of it it ain't even an LGBT homeless shelter it's just a homeless shelter for teens but majority of them was women who got pregnant and they and their parents kicked them out which I think is bullshit to me right because y'all not kicking out the boys for impregnating these girls but and trans women and gay men, right? Then I'm 
two minutes away and I go to the the transgender cl- clinic that's or the 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 gender clinic that's uh, highly funded highly funded now this place is run down and they're trying to take care and they largely taking care of LGBT this way and LGBT of color and I go over here and I go in there and I'm about to, I'm ready to volunteer and I'm looking at a, 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 a somebody that looks like a full-blown 100% woman and she want to be called he him and then I'm seeing a whole full-blown looking boy and he want to be called she her and I'm just like what the fuck is this what is this and it, I I did, I went there one time and then I left cuz I misgendered this girl this woman looking girl this girl looking girl and this is at, at early on so when, so when people want to say I'm uh, not educated this was early on I'm I'm catching it on the the the, the, the when it's just starting and I'm comparing the two now these they're getting all this funding to indoctrinate these children over here whose parents got the money to bring them over there and you have LGBT of color and trans women of color homeless and we ain't talking nothing about LGBT right we talking about anything but we talking about life we talking about survival we're talking about survival basic survival right and that's something that I rarely even hear happening in discussions and that's why I I I I completely feel like it's an agenda and it doesn't benefit trans women it doesn't benefit trans men it's just a bunch of bullshit right but and and it showed me how they they're they're kicked out of the village taken out of their original roles these same trans women these same gay men could largely be protecting the women and children in their family at at the, in the home but of course they want to make us the enemy they got to kick us out because they want the snakes to stay in the house they want the pedophiles to stay in our homes and, and traumatizing the women and tra- traumatizing the children so when they grow up they have all these anger issues trust issues and they can't get in their purpose and move with spirit and and, and develop a good relationship with god they want to have them in these churches right but they, they want to have us in the church, but they want to have us in bondage because we're not able to be who we are and, and be out. And we go sneak and do what we want to do. Right. We go sneak. And then the, you can use that as blackmail. So then you have total control of these people. And then it becomes a, a perverted version. And then you have pedophile pastors who aren't wouldn't be considered LGBT. That's running rampant, running rampant. Bishops. OK, uh, 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 priests running rampant in the church mess with children okay going on on untouched untouched because you you're pulling you you you're stripping the gatekeeper of their original roles see they would be spilling the tea but let them let us spill the tea on who the family pedophile is y'all going to kick us out the family before you kick out the family pedophile that's causing trauma that's de- that's the delusion there's a lot of delusion going on there there's a lot of crazy going on right and the purpose has never been, right? You, even if you want to talk about past lives, I was a gay man in my last life. Does that mean I need to be a gay man in this life? No. But does that mean I, I, I feel like people should never transition or trans people uh, shouldn't exist or they don't exist? No. But regardless, the goal, if your goal is to be a woman, that's never going to be. That's not what you are. If your goal, if you are born a biological male, if your goal is to become a biological female, you're delusional. You're delusional. You're crazy. It's not going to happen. That's not how it works, right? We are in a matrix. And, And again, the purpose becomes that, and it's a goal that will never be. That's why they want that to be your goal. That's why they want that to be your purpose, right? There is a purpose for trans women. There is there is a difference, but that difference has a purpose. And that's important to acknowledge. So that's what I think about the whole thing. Like, I think it was really blown out of proportion. And it's really sad that women can't just say that we're women at this point. And um, we're really tired of the hate on so many different uh so many different directions and you know 
y'all are gonna have to stop being so goddamn sensitive when y'all want want to be so insensitive. You can't be that insensitive co- constantly all the time and constantly bullying women and and want us to always be <laughs> tiptoeing around y'all. It's crazy. So just leave us alone, really. Just keep our name out your mouth. Don't talk about us, period. Just leave us alone. That's what y'all can really do. All right, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see y'all.